Welcome to the start of the series for the Bossburn Kingdom. We start in a pretty unique position, I mean, just at the very edge of the Hellenic world. I guess let's start by, I did do a couple things. All I really did was, I kind of went into the innovations, picked out a couple, just um, this one kind of for the, the city building, this one for founding cities, because that's kind of going to be one of the goals that we're doing is we're going to kind of go for building up cities, colonizing the uh, Sarmatian regions, which is basically these two right here. So I don't really know what we have for our Pantheon. There's no holy site for Hades. That might be a good one to build, honestly, because once you build it, these do get more powerful. So. For now, I think we might want to go for Hera because, well, honestly, our provincial loyalty is not a worry right now. Even though, I mean, he doesn't have a holy site, but I feel like this might be one of our best bets right now anyways. We can pick some idea slots too. I was looking at this as well. It's really not, it's not the best type when all you get is... Uh, slave output plus six percent So I think we're probably going to be changing that to strato either stratocratic or I didn't really look at the um, Aristocratic one, but that, that one might also be worth getting So for civic we can either do slave output plus 20 commerce plus 20 or we can get build cost minus 10 and build time minus 25%. Commerce looks a lot lower because we really haven't looked at our trading yet. So that's obviously going to go up. But you can also tell that taxes are a lot more. I don't really, like I know I talked a lot about building. But early game, we're not really going to be building a lot early game. While we kind of focus on survival and, and getting all of our land. So... I think slave output is probably the best one. And uh, for military, kind of was thinking of doing the shipbuilding just because of our, uh, you know, naval location. We're kind of surrounded by the sea everywhere, but I honestly feel like we won't really need the navy as much. We're gonna be kind of fighting on land a lot more, so. I just don't know if we want the reinforcement speed and the uh, recovery or if we want just the straight up morale. Also, I didn't really look at the religion ones either. I don't think loyalty is going to be that important civilization or... So it's either going to be between the civilization or our uh, ruler's popularity. And it is the Sparta kid uh, dynasty that's ruling over us, our country. I mean, honestly, oh, he's really not going to be that popular of a king. So we might want to just pick this uh, idea slot just to help him out. And then we'll do um, just the straight up morale boost. We have a lot of tribesmen. And honestly, just because of who we're surrounded by, a lot of these people are going to have just a lot of tribesmen. But honestly, our first war is going to be looking like it's going to go with these uh, Churso, Churso Nisus guys. Because they're also Hellenic Bosporan. They also have a city literally right bordering our city right here. Oh, and they have another one with a port. And it produces wine, so. And it has a pretty good population. So these guys are definitely going to be important to get. I think we should just start getting the claim right now. I didn't really look at the army. I mean... Unfortunately, we don't have any legions, but... At least we have at least eight. For our uh, le um, levies. Oh, I forgot. We freaking have... You start with eight. I don't know if I should just go for one of these 
This one might take a little bit to go to. Grand Theater, that's gonna be all about religion. And honestly, I don't know. We have over 50% the uh, wrong religion in this province already, so. I think it might be worth going to get a little bit of this. Especially if we can just kind of go down the avenue of getting aggressive expansion. So let's get two of these aggressive expansion ones. I don't want to just go straight down into it. Because I want to make sure I get... Oh, that's right. That's for the uh, theater. This one's really easy to get. I believe... I guess I didn't save it. Yeah, it's right here though. So it's only three. Might be worth just going right for. Because we can also get unintegrated culture group happiness. And this will also give us that as well. So total we got plus 5%. I'm surprised it's not. I guess it only has state religion happiness. There's no like non-religion happiness. I didn't really look into the marshals much, but there is certain ones we're gonna want like cohorts. This one's very important to get. This one would also give us a, uh, I think this is definitely gonna be worth getting with the free province investment. So we have two left, so we kind of want to be smart now. And I think I want to go into civics a little bit. So I guess we'll kind of start the, or the urban planning tree. We'll get citizen output. And then we'll obviously go for the slave output one. We also need to marry our king. This has always kind of confused me why it doesn't really let you see like you can't I don't understand where you're supposed to see like uh, people from other countries or if you can only marry like people that are the people in your court or whatever so I always kind of just try to see like if their stats are like if anyone has like two really good stats combined usually that's kind of just who I go for also based on their age yeah, this girl's the youngest, and she's she's just and good-natured, so. I never understood why it's like you pick her, and then you can just immediately turn her down. We can also give our Navy a, um... Honestly, we could probably unpause this now while we finish up the rest. But... I was trying to think if we should maybe use this other 20 to get another claim somewhere. I don't know like how alliances are going to form though, so we should probably be smart and wait with that. We could probably build a building then. I assume we would be building it in our capital first. But Theodosia also might be kind of important to build up. So, honestly, let's just put down a, um, I feel like it might be more important to put it down in here based on, they have five Scythians. Okay, so we'll just build it up in here. The, um, we'll build a marketplace here. We can also start, we have two trade routes that we can get. So... I think we should either go for olives. Might want to get food based on what the. F I didn't look at what the food's looking like. Yikes. Okay, so we're definitely going to want to get grain. We can either trade from. I'll just zoom out a little bit. It's hard to kind of tell where this is based on the way I'm looking at it. But these guys look like they're kind of further away. Okay, so. I think we're still gonna go for the olives. We can only get it from the Antigonids right now. But, yeah, our slaves are not that happy, so hopefully that helps out a little bit. 
Yikes. We do have disloyal character right from the start. One of our researchers. I could either bribe him or just try to make him my friend. Yeah, he has really low loyalty. Let's just try to make him our friend because if we tried to bribe him, it would only last for 48 months and then it could just go right back down to that again. All right, so we'll pause now. Here we go, we got these right off the bat. I have that habit of unpausing, or pausing immediately when things pop up. Looks like they immediately kind of took a province right there. Okay, so we have a lot of these. It's all probably very similar. Yeah, so we'll just accept one of each. I don't really think it matters who we accept it from. So these guys didn't pick allies, surprisingly. I think we should wait on them a second. And instead, let's just go for one of these two. I don't... Yeah, none of them have cities. This dude would give us basically just kind of like grain and... Oh, they don't really have any grain up here, though. Looks like. You know, one cool thing you can do is if you have them right-clicked and then you click on a map mode. Oh, usually it would overlay. Yeah, you see, I don't know why it doesn't do it with the trading. It kind of does, just with the border. Honestly, they just because of the, the pure territories, I think these are the guys that we're going to get the claim on first. I thought this was the province that had way more people. So I guess we'll just kind of wait and see what happens. We're going to get our clothes going up. We need this guy to become our friend too. I don't want to kind of, I don't want to ruin any of our uh, corruption or tyranny too much though. I don't think he's going to be that worth it. Well, he does have a power base of 41 could be a little concerning all right we don't even have the political influence so I wonder would that make us go negative or is it just a flat zero oh it's negative yikes at least um oh corruption is not helping us we need to be careful of corruption because as that gets worse that's only gonna it's just gonna keep hurting us and Something that changes very, very slowly. So this isn't even our son. Our successor... I was trying to see... Oh, it looks like Ziggy... Uh, yeah, these guys are not worth an alliance. They literally have two people for two territories. Okay, these will be done in... Wow. Well, about a year and a half. Okay, so hopefully we can get this guy towards being our friend. So we can give him... Oh, it's all of the personal wealth. He has 330. Yeah, let's just give him all that money. Uh-oh. Looks like we are getting a little bit close. We have to be careful for... Um, I wonder who the other guy is. It's another researcher, so it's Nico. I don't even want to try pronouncing it. Basically, it's Nico and Kefi, so. Ah, mm. oh, it's five tyranny. I don't like that one. I'm sure we'll get a better one. So really quick, I need to check on our researchers. Okay, so this is the guy we're trying to make our friend, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, it's Nico. Actually, I'll start. Okay, so Kefi. We could. Oh, we cannot bring him to trial. See, we can either make him rival or try to assassinate him. 
Unfortunately, we cannot bring him to trial. I wonder why he has so much dang power. Head of family. Yikes. That's why they're both the rulers of the families. Makes sense. Okay, well at this point, I need to bribe some people, so. Oh no, he gave his money out and now he can't bribe him. All right, so we better freaking become friends with Nico because if we have both families not liking us, that's just not gonna help us at all. Okay, so. What is this man doing? All right, looks like our endeavor did not pay off. So, this is probably gonna be a good move to do then. We'll get 20 loyalty up by that. Unfortunately, he's the head of power, he's the head of his family. With free hands, that could, that might start to just become a problem. But thankfully, with one family out of the way, we don't really have to worry about the other. Okay. And these guys really aren't gonna be a threat. I don't think they'll be able to nearly get the same type of um, uh, levies that we have. So I'm debating if we would need mercenaries. I don't think we will. I think we could maybe get cheap mercenaries if it comes down to it, but the reason why I'm wondering is because I just don't even want... See, like, yeah, I'd rather just build another building. And if we look down here... Yeah, this one has a lot of Osprin, too. Okay. Oh, I wanted to build this one, but they are very expensive. All right, we can either build it up here or up here. I believe, oh, we got a trade route. Okay, slaves everywhere are unhappy. If we can get a surplus in this, we could get plus eight. Kinda wanted to go for the stone as well, but. I'm gonna go for another olive so we can get that surplus going. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so now they're all a little bit happier, which is great. Hopefully, we can keep our uh, slave pop. We need to get the slave population up as well. That's why I wanted to build some of this. Because hopefully, that would kind of distract some of these tribesmen. Oh, you know what? We'll get a pro uh, we're gonna do our province investment and that's probably gonna close it for the uh, first video Wow looks like we have a very tiny we only have one noble which is a little not good it's probably why I was saying the research ratio wasn't good okay so I'm like I like the religious one and I like the trade route one. I usually would say I like the population capacity one, but that is definitely not a concern right now. So basically it's between trade route and it's between the building slots, three, four, and five. So we're going to go for the uh, input routes. I didn't think about doing it over here. But if I look at that, 19, yeah, see, probably wouldn't be worth it. I, this is not going to be as big as a concern. Oh my gosh, I should not have said that because it looks like that's actually exactly where the region goes into. We'll have to just kind of decide together what we'll do then. But that will do it for this first video, so make sure you guys subscribe if you want to stick around. And I'll see you guys later.